you doing? Packing up the blankets so I can store them. Yeah. Okay. I'm making sure everything is out. Okay. Now I gotta take the battery out and put the vent covers on. Yeah. And we got a couple more lawn chairs. We can put as many as we can in there, eh? Mm hmm still under here. What? My wagon's still under here. Yeah, it can stay there for the winter. The yeah. barbecue can go on top of there. Yeah. Okay. Today's weather forecast no it's actually not that much it's gonna go away um, I'm just finishing up getting the camper ready to store out at AJ's uh, trying to get my head around what I got to do here it's Saturday it's only minus one though it's really quite nice out Watching, uh, watching some videos last night, it uh, looks like most of our uh, garage gang on the eastern seaboard made out okay. Only minor issues, with the exception of maybe uh, maybe Ed the kid. Uh, he took a shingle to the head when he went out to fix his generator or start his generator or something. That's not good. So. <coughs> Never good when somebody gets hurt in a storm like that. Which one of these? I didn't label this one. Why not? Okay, that one goes there. Yep. And I just need mechanics wire for that. And then I'm missing one, two, three, four. So there should be four more. And those ones take wire bungee cords. Let's go see what we can find here. Yeah, this snow just fell overnight. It's not going to stick around because it's supposed to be back up into seasonal normal temperatures. And as you can see, I still haven't got the uh, garage recovered yet. Okay, those can go there. The wire can go down here and the pliers. something my brain's not working very well I don't feel like sitting in the wet ground I'll grab a cushion take the battery out I thought I saw the one for the the one missing piece of vent cover but it wasn't what's this one that might be it Maybe I didn't label them all, but that left definitely looks like it was cut out for something. That could be it. Talking to myself. I know I uh, distracted myself enough I don't know what I was doing in the first place. Cushion. 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 
Um, uh, okay, this one's the easy, easiest of them all, so we'll do it first. So I can do it standing, and the rest of them I can likely do sitting down. And this one doesn't require anything to tie it in. Anyway, hot water tank. And I need a socket because I have to take the sacrificial rod out, which is right here. Here we go. Wearing, but still good. And what I do with that is I leave it in here with Teflon tape, and uh, to make it easy, I wrote the size of the socket on there. Just make it easier for next year. What that basically does is. Uh, no, I'm stuck because my legs don't have the strength to s stand up. Okay, put those out of the way and get the cushion in place. I'll just plunk my butt down. Uh, yeah, the, the anode, or sacrificial rod, used to uh, minimize corrosion to the tank itself by giving something easier for the, okay, the uh, minerals in the water to attack. So, I didn't, we didn't use the hot water tank at all this year, so I put it in and take it back out. And, uh, Some of these have cutouts in them, so um, most of the other ones I've marked already. I just scribble on them and then I can put them away in the spring. I'd have to cut new ones every year. This one just goes in by friction too, which is kind of nice. Let's see if I can prop the camera up in a way that you can kind of watch bottom up view. I've got it cut to fit around around here, so it just fits in a place like that. Don't need anything to hold it because cover itself will hold it for me. Just like that. Last year I just put these on with uh, zip ties, but I don't have any. I should have picked some up knowing I'd need them, but I've got tons of mechanics wire. It'll work just as good. is ready. Once again, I've got this one cut out for the for the vent. Get it on.
What I need is some thinner wire. And a pair of those pliers for wiring nuts and bolts. Those would work phenomenal on this. Okay. Let's see if I can get this just a little bit tighter. After all, it does have to withstand the 100 kilometer an hour winds. And I didn't bring up my good uh, mining pliers either, which I should have. Although not totally necessary. I'm going to bend these. Lay underneath because my granddaughters will be around and I don't want them to poke their fingers. I call these padoinks. We've heard that from Boy Scouts or something. And I just hook it, hook it in the grate above and hook it on the door latch and it holds it up out of the way for me. Okay. First the negative, which is white for some reason. I do have to undo completely. If I'm not using the battery for extended period of time, I'll unhook the, the ground. Just in case there's any parasitic drain. Let's bring the wing nut back down. And my tie down. Also has wing nuts on it. And I've done it in a way that I can just loosen them and get the down brackets out without having to take the battery all the way out. And move to the side. Do the back one. If I do it enough, I can just slide this right on it.
room for a battery, but actually the way it's built, if I show you underneath, there's plenty of room to build a bigger battery box if I wanted. If I ever have to uh, replace any of the wood, that's likely what I would do. And uh, I made this bracket. The bracket that originally came with the camper didn't uh, didn't fit this battery very well because of the uh, the vent caps. And this is a maintenance free, but they still have vent caps on them. Uh, so I made this to fit up and over. And I've also made it so if I had a taller battery, I'd just take these spacers out. Those are just little pieces, small pieces of copper tubing. And that can just stay in there, it's not going to go anywhere. And even though it's empty, I still don't want snow in it. One corner is notched off. That's so you can get your finger in to pull it out. Okay, there we go. I just made a piece and tied it to the back of the door there. Separate piece. Labeled it. So that's the one without a battery, and I kept the other one and just put it in there to store it. So if I st close this to only for a month or two, I can put uh, I can put the other one in if I need. Okay, this one. This one's my fridge external door. And this door, of course, will... Thumb screws. Okay. There's a little bit of dust and dirt in there. Should have cleaned out, but. Now, this one has a little notch here fit around the electrical box. And once again, it's just a friction fit. It's more to keep the critters out than the weather. and we're going to kind of do our own thing today. Kyle's got a couple of games to ref. But the problem is, Kyle's not quite settled with the insurance for his car yet. So right now he's still driving our van. And uh, so he's using our van to go to hockey. Problem is, AJ has our utility trailer, and he's been doing renovations on his house, and he needs the trailer emptied. Doesn't have a trailer here, so we got to go do that. But Kyle has the van, so we're going to go there. But AJ is also putting the furnace in his house today, and needs someone to watch the girls because Jess is working today because she's working a new job 
just got a new job a week or two ago and she's working today so he needs someone to watch the girls so he and his brother-in-law can put the new furnace in hi guys how's it going ran out of battery in the camera when I was finishing up the vent uh, as you can see I'm it's a driving video. I'm uh, taking the motorhome out to AJ's place for winter storage. I'm about um, halfway from our town to the next town, which is where I'm going to top up the tent fuel tanks. Uh, gas tank and the propane. I've got a quarter tank of propane left and I got about half a tank in the uh, in the regular gas tank in the fuel tank. Um, so I'm going to top them off. Minimizes the condensation buildup. You're likely getting vibrated all the hell because I'm on a, on a gravel road. The gravel road that's about two miles off this trip. <coughs> they stop about a quarter mile short of the number one highway in Canada. And it goes diagonally towards the town, which is about two miles south of the number one highway. And this road basically goes diagonally straight to, to it. So it's kind of like cutting off, you know, just taking the uh, the high butt noose of the uh, triangle. So to speak. Anyway, it's a cloudy day, but it's nice out. It's about zero. Uh, there's no wind, or very little wind. But, because I'm fighting a bit of a cold, allergy season is right now too. My second worst allergy season is fall. Uh, so I don't want the, the cold to get into my uh, chest and into my lungs too much uh, because I have a tendency to get pneumonia. place and then AJ's place is about another 15 minutes. 